Evan Carmichael has a strategy to generate $10,000 for every 1 million YouTube views. I'm gonna discuss this strategy, let you know if it works, and compare it to my strategy. So Evan Carmichael has a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience, and a lot of tips that he shares on succeeding on YouTube. Now again, his strategy is how to generate $10,000 from about a million views on YouTube. And then I'm gonna contrast that with my strategy where you can generate the same $10,000 from only 100 views. So let's dive right in. So the first tip that Evan talks about is within the first minute of your video, let's say you've got a 10 minute episode, the first minute, at that point, you still wanna have a 70% retention rate. Now, that is awesome. That's an awesome accomplishment, and so I actually totally agree with that. You've gotta do things early on in your episode to make people wanna watch all the way to the end, and if you have a retention rate at the beginning that drops way down, and let's say a minute in, you're only at 30%, then you might wanna look at what you're doing wrong or what you could improve. The great thing about YouTube analytics is you can compare one video to another one. So you can look at videos that have a high retention rate at that one minute marker at any point and look at videos that don't and then watch them and compare them. So I, I definitely agree, you wanna look at your retention rate. Now Evan's next recommendation is that you wanna make longer videos. The more watch time you have, the more likely YouTube is to promote your videos. In his recommendations, he even recommends as much as an hour long episode. And in my experience, I've, I've done trial and error with all different lengths from, from short two, three minute videos to seven, eight minute videos, 10 to 12, 15 to 20. I've kind of found diminishing returns. If you've got one episode that's 25 minutes long, you'll get double the views if you cut that in half and make that two, say 12 minute episodes. Okay, this next point that I'm gonna share from Evan is, is kind of interesting and it, like, it's kind of exciting to think about because it's easy and it seems like a shortcut, but then I'll, I'll explain kind of the reality as well. So what he shares is that you go onto YouTube and do a search uh, for your topic and then you find titles of videos that are there and you just copy their exact titles. That is a good way of coming up with topic ideas. And typically the videos that are ranking the highest, they're doing well, right? They've got a good combination of title and thumbnail. The engagement is good. And so they rank well on YouTube. So to copy their title, I mean, that, that might give you a good place to start. But the challenge is that video that's already ranking on YouTube, YouTube has the data on that. It's got the history and it knows that this is a high performing video. So for yours to rank above that one, it's got to be better across the board. I mean, it's, if, if you copy the title, it'll have the exact title, but your thumbnail needs to be better. The engagement needs to be better. So what you're setting yourself up for is competition right off the bat. And what I like to do is eliminate competition. Find titles that no one else has done before, but that still have consistent search volume. We'll talk more about that in a minute. The next tip that Evan shares is to make every video share link a play all link. And I had to really watch this to figure it out and I'm gonna demonstrate it on my screen here. So I just came to one of the channels I produced, Noel Randall, and you need to find a play all link, just like this one right here. When you click on that, How to invest and I'll just pause that video, look at the URL up here. So it has this ampersand list equals and then it's got a code. So what you do is you just copy that code from the ampersand to the end and you can paste it at the end of any episode link. So if I come down here to share, let's just do a test. I know that this is an abbreviation here, but if I copy that and I come over here in a new tab and I paste it right there, but then I'm gonna, before I hit enter, I'm gonna come grab that unique code. So I hit control C to copy that. I'm gonna paste it at the end So take a look at what it does. That, that's one video started, but on the side, it's all of Noel's other uploads. So you're basically controlling their YouTube experience after this. It's not just recommending one video, but it's recommending a video and what they watch next. So what does Evan teach about search traffic? Let's take a look right here. News reports saying that YouTube is the second most popular search engine in the world, and it is, but the game is suggested. Search channels are only for utility where you're never gonna subscribe. So the example I use is how to unclog a toilet. That channel, you have to win in search. That's not what I'm teaching. So not so fond of search, right? He, he's got a few more things he says. And I want you to build an audience. I want you to build a movement, right? We're trying to make something that people 
will keep coming back for and again and again and again. The game then is not search, it's suggested. Okay, so he's pointing out the difference between search and suggested, saying that suggested is really where the game's at. Listen to this next part. So I don't care what people are searching for. Search is not where you wanna rank. If you're playing a search game, you're playing a small game. Okay, so here's the difference and why this doesn't apply to my strategy. Now in these clips, Evan's talking about gaming channels or videos that people watch for entertainment or to pass the time and they want to get their videos ranked for short keyword phrases. So they might try and rank for Turo business, that's only two words, or for positivity or for team meetings, you know, one or two words. So when Evan says, if you're playing the search game, you're playing the small game. If you're playing the search game, you're playing the small game. That's actually a huge advantage for us. People are searching for your expertise in a very specific way. And if people are searching for something very specific, then make an episode about something very specific because when they find exactly what they're searching for, they watch the video all the way to the end. So let me show you some examples. So for a Turo business, you want a question like how to start a rental car company using Turo. Do you see how long that is? But this has consistent search volume every month or is starting a Turo business still a good idea? So some better examples for positivity, how to stay positive in a negative environment or how to stay positive when everything is going wrong. Now I didn't make these phrases up. I did keyword research and I found these long questions that people are searching for. I call them leaf titles and I'll explain why. So for virtual meetings, I found what is a good icebreaker for a meeting or how to make virtual team meetings fun. Now keep in mind that all those phrases I just showed you are eight to 10 words long and they have consistent search volume every month. Now watch this. It depends if you want them to subscribe to your channel or not. So if the goal is yes, we want them to subscribe to our channel, then it's suggested. If the goal is not to get subscribers and it's, it's purely utility, then no, then we're going for search. That part just makes me laugh because he hasn't tried search in the way that I described. When people search for your expertise, they find you and they watch your video, they appreciate you. They see you as the expert. They do subscribe, they join your email list. And when you talk to them on the phone or on Zoom, they're ready to buy from you. Okay, so let me show you how this actually works and the difference between the two strategies. Okay, so we'll have Evan on this side and Nate over here. All right, so his plan is if you get a million views, then that will result, let's use green here for money, that'll result in $10,000 of revenue. And how do we do that? Let's cross that out. That's through ads and I'll abbreviate there, sponsorships. So if you get enough views, then through advertising and sponsorships, you can make $10,000. This is on a CPM of about 10. Now you can have a CPM as high as 40. I've seen CPMs as low as one or $2, but this is kind of a good average with Evan's strategy. Okay, so with my strategy, if you wanna get the same 10,000, we're only gonna need 100 views. At the end of your video, you have a call to action. You give away a free gift and 10 people typically become leads. And of those 10 leads, you nurture them. You continue to give them value and you end up having three strategy sessions, okay? And from three strategy sessions, it's very easy, 30%, 33%, one of them will buy a $10,000 coaching program. So you only need 100 views to generate $10,000. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. In the example I'll use, virtual meetings, and we'll go after this one, how to make virtual team meetings fun. I wanna show you how I found this title, okay? So this tool is called the Keyword Magic Tool. Um, you can get a free trial of this at herokeywordtool.com. I'll put the link in the description. But if we type in here, virtual meetings, Okay, I always turn on the questions button and then I, I'm gonna come over here to advanced filter and I'm gonna turn it up to a word count of eight. Now, as long as we have search volume in this column between 10 and 100, then they are golden, okay? Now, there are a lot of good ones in here. Do's and don'ts of virtual meetings or how to do introductions in virtual meetings. And this one's pretty similar to the one we had up there, how to make virtual team meetings more engaging I think the one that I found was down here in the 20s. There it is, how do you make virtual team meetings fun? So you can do a search like this, comb through all the results and find a whole list of titles for unique episodes for your channel. So how do I know all this stuff about YouTube? Well, I actually know a lot more. I've written a book on how to leverage YouTube to generate leads 
for your business. And I want to give this to you for free. I've put two years into putting all my strategy into this book. I'm known as the guy that can help you generate $10,000 from only 100 views. Whereas all other YouTube experts, they teach you how to generate millions of views to make $10,000. So if you want to learn how to leverage YouTube in that way, go to natesyoutubebook.com. Now what you'll find there, I expect you to cover the costs. So the cost to print this full color book and the cost to ship, but no profit to me, that's my gift to you.